And welcome to the run through for the flipped classroom on fragments. So if you download our code and compile it and run it, you're going to get this pile of awesomeness. So pretty blank. Uh, doesn't really do much, although you can exit. That's pretty awesome. So I wanted to show you what your final project will actually look like. Hopefully without slipping up and showing you a whole bunch of code that you're supposed to write. So the idea is you're going to have a sequence of pictures. Uh, and in order to do this uh, lab properly, you probably want to configure your emulator to uh, be able to take pictures. So I will uh, show you how to do that um, in a little bit. So come on now. All right. All right, that looks better, hey? So... Uh, here is some logic that we basically implement. So this is going to be scary, but we'll click on take a picture. And uh oh, is that is that a super cool microphone? Uh, we'll take a picture of the microphone, and we'll say we're done. And that's the picture of mate. Whoa, what was that? And that's a picture of Rorschach. Okay, now you'll notice two things. These pictures, if I click them, they get super big. And if I click back, I get back to the regular UI. If I click this, nothing happens. If I click this, it also gets big. If I click it again, it gets small. If I click back, I get back. Both of those functionalities uh, are necessary to do, uh, uh, to get 100, you know, to do a correct job. Okay, so that is the uh, flipped classroom. That's that's the basic functionality. Okay, so let's take a look at your code and sort of what's going on. <coughs> Oops. Okay, so um, uh, just looking at the layouts for a minute. Uh, activity main uh, looks totally normal. It's, it's the same thing we've been doing with this uh, app bar layout, the toolbar. Content main uh, looks a little funny. Content main is a linear, linear layout that basically contains a frame layout. We're calling this frame layout main fragment. We're calling it that for a reason, because you're going to be putting some fragment in this frame layout. Then we have uh, image fragment, which also is pretty simple. It's a linear layout that contains an image view. We we'll call it image view fragment. It's a subtle hint. Finally, we have a photo fragment. Photo fragment looks a lot like our main screen. And in fact, uh, it is our sort of main screen. So what distinguishes this project uh, to be a little different from some of your others is when it initializes it's pretty much blank. And then we're going to need to put this fragment uh, on top of it in order to get the functionality that we want. And here we have our images, we have our take a picture button. And uh, the stuff in here, um, it's all correct. I mean, you can take a look at what we're doing. Basically, um, you know, we do some some layout weights in order to, to make this thing take up space and and look good. Okay. So uh, in the code, um, there are a couple of things to notice here that uh, might look scary, but they're really not so bad. First thing is that main activity is an app compat activity, and it implements this interface. Okay, this interface is this image fragment finish. So something in image fragment can call this and it might do some useful work for you. So you can do this entire 
uh, Flip Classroom correctly, leaving this blank, leaving this callback blank, or you can fill it in with a single line of code, which, which will help you. So you can do it both ways. That, that, that part is up to you. But I wanted to show you this idea of using a callback uh, as an interface, because we're going to do that uh, even more next week. This beginning of uh, OnCreate should look so boring that you fall asleep, and then you can wake up and uh, write the rest of this code. Uh, the rest of uh, main activity is pretty straightforward. Um, let's look at Photo Fragment. Photo Fragment um, is sort of the contains the main UI. Um, oh, there's a little hint there. Uh, it contains the main UI, uh, and it, it does some stuff that's a little bit funny, um, but uh, y y the funny stuff is all correct. So it initializes in two parts. The first thing that it does is uh, it uses this on create view in order to create a view. Uh, the examples we've seen so far, the runtime has been creating the view, and we, we pass the fully qualified um, class name to, to let it build the view. Here, we're actually building the view. So they give us an inflator, so the days of calling, you know, get inflator are over. And we say, hey, uh, let's inflate this photo fragment, which if you recall, that's sort of our main UI. Let's inflate this uh, photo fragment, and uh, we'll, we'll grab some references to, you know, the main UI elements here. So we'll grab a reference to the button and the image views, and, you know, we'll initialize stuff uh, using find view by ID. And we do have to return this view, uh, uh, it, you know, to, to the runtime. This, uh, image, <laughs> just keep randomly typing. This image to image button function is something you have to implement. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Mostly you have to implement. On activity created, this is, uh, the big callback where we, uh, take these UI elements and actually hook them up to, to do stuff like call this picture button press then actually call this image and image button stuff which which you have to do um, and then uh, everything down here is correct uh, this is some logic to actually uh, shift those images down when you take an, a new uh, uh, picture with the camera and this code takes pictures with the camera and gets the results back and passes it to you as a bitmap okay uh, so yes, you, you, you know, um, uh, this is turning the images into buttons, and by that I mean it's setting an on-click listener on the images, and when the image is clicked, it needs to get big. So, figure out what that means. And uh, finally, we have uh, an image fragment. Recall it defines this interface about, about finish. And uh, it also has sort of um, an interesting uh, initialization path. I mean, first of all, it also implements on create view, and, and it uh, calls the inflator. <coughs> Excuse me uh, to you know inflate this image fragment. What we call this image fragment. Um, there is uh, one thing that's that's funny here. So you have to pass in uh, something that adheres to this interface. Uh, you might find something like that in, in main activity. And uh, we have here something put parcelable, which uh, looks a lot like put serializable. So this is a bitmap object, and we want to pass a bitmap object in a bundle. So the question is, how do you do that? So if the bitmap object implemented serializable, we would say put serializable. Turns out that serializable is very slow. It's defined by the Java language. So Google built something faster that they call parcelable. Uh, a, a bitmap is parcelable, so this is just a way of, of putting something in uh, in a uh, bundle, and you're going to have to get the, this bitmap out of that out of that bundle. This is sort of fun and, and, and whatever. Don't don't freak out about it. You can ignore it if you want. Basically, this is one of the callbacks that gets called um, when you are attached to a uh, context, which is your container activity. And we make sure that that context is a valid uh, image fragment interface. So we're casting here. And uh, if that cast fails, it's going to then throw an exception. And we're going to we're going to say like, ah, <laughs> and here I need to uh, implement the functionality that's specified in the fluff classroom. If you if you click this, you disappear. OK, so along with the. Um, 
instructions for the full classroom, that should be sufficient. Good luck.